What up everybody, welcome back to another Comically Boston. Today is episode 143 and we are here with another week of nerdy news. Recapping everything that happened last week. There was big CinemaCon news and a bunch of updates coming from that. So we're going to go over all of those today. And then at the end we're going to talk a little bit about what I thought about the Fallout series currently on Amazon Prime. But let's get into all those Marvel news and what happened last week. As you guys know, the trailer for Joker Folia Adu, Joker 2 came out. And there is a trailer breakdown on the channel right now that I did. Go check that out for me. Watch that. Like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, that would really help me out. But the trailer was really good. That shot with the lipstick on the glasses at the end is just fucking iconic. Lady Gaga in her red and black white checkered shirt you know the her harley quinn design she looks friggin awesome as harley quinn the shots in the trailer where she's like doing the gun to the head thing like he did in the first movie oh like there's certain things from that trailer that i'm like super interested to see what's going to happen but you know how hard this shot must have been for them to line up you know, for Lady Gaga to draw the lipstick, and then on the other side of the glass, Joaquin Phoenix to just move his body in the perfect way, and he's all sad, and then just contort his face into the smile to match the lipstick, like, oof, oof, it looks so good, I, I can only imagine what the rest of this movie looks like. But moving on, we also had an X-Men 97 breakdown for episode 5, Remember It, came out last week. Thank you guys for getting that over 300 views. Wow, I was shocked. You guys, hey, wow, you guys really liking the X-Men 97 series, huh? Or maybe you just liked my uh, Gambit impersonation in that video, friggin' the name's Gambit, moan to me. Remember it. Uh, but... <laughs> X-Men 97 has been really good so far, so stay tuned for Thursday this week. We're going to be re recapping and breaking down Episode 6, uh, which I believe is Life, Death, Part 2, so we get my girl Storm back. I'm super hyped about that. But there was a mid-season trailer released for X-Men 97, and one of the shots in the trailer, and the only shot in the trailer that really stuck out to me, was this one of a scuffed-up Captain America shield with a yellow boot over in the corner. And I was like, what? Captain America in X-Men 97? What? Well, I was like, wait a second. Was Captain America in the OG X-Men series? And he was. So, but is this going to be like Chris Evans' voice in this? Is this going to be Ross Marquand? Or is this going to be somebody else's voice acting? Either way. I'm super hyped about whatever's happening in this series, especially if my boy Captain America is coming into the fold. You know, I love his shield, even in animated form, but, you know, I got the old, old kneecap shield going on down here, if you guys see that, but... <laughs> that kneecap shield hurt like a bitch to get, I'll tell you what. <laughs> there was also a trailer for Star Wars Outlaws, the video game that came out last week, the story trailer, where they're talking about... Uh, K Vess here is going around, has to rob the underworld type thing, and I'm super excited for that. You, it looks open world. It looks like you can go from on the ground to flying in space, you know, rather quickly. Uh, you can customize your shit. You know, I, ever since uh, Jedi Survivor, I'm super excited for for another Star Wars game. So that to me is going to be awesome. I've already seen Dune Part 2 in IMAX twice, but they have extended their run, and this was a Eclipse poster that they came out with the other day, an Eclipse-inspired uh, poster. I believe there is an Eclipse in Dune Part 1, or Dune Part 2, maybe both movies, uh, in the actual movie itself, and it looks really, really good. Uh, Denis Villeneuve really sh knows how to shoot a movie and make it look phenomenal. But let's get into some of that Cin CinemaCon news. Huh? We got another Furiosa poster. That I just saw uh, another trailer for the other day at the theaters. Super excited to see the Furiosa movie. I think Chris Hemsworth's going to be really funny in that. And Anya Taylor-Joy. I'm not a huge Anya Taylor-Joy person. I did really like her in The Queen's Gambit. But her recent work outside of that I haven't been like too you know blown away by. But... This looks like a role where she can really shine and really get a chance to do some crazy shit. So I'm looking forward to that movie, even though I'm not that big a George Miller and the Mad Max saga guy. You know, like I don't really care about the older Mad Maxes. Fury Road looked pretty phenomenal, but I really, you know, at the same time, 
people like Immortal Joe. Like, I really don't care for him at all. Like, I think he's gross looking and don't want to see him. Stuff like that, you know, but comment below. What are your thoughts on Furiosa? Sonic 1 and 2 I did rather like. So Sonic 3 is coming our way. And we got a little teaser that our boy Sonic is going to be meeting up with Shadow. And Shadow is my favorite from the Sonic video games I played when I was a kid. You know, Knuckles was always cool too, but Shadow was my guy. You know, I, I think it was just really the black and red. And I was always a fan of black and red, clearly. Uh, but... Yeah, Sonic 3 coming our way. I'm kind of excited for that. But before Sonic 3, we're going to be getting a six-episode event streaming April 26th. So just, you know, a little over 11 days away, his watch begins. And we're going to have a Knuckles TV show on Paramount+. Plus. Now, Paramount+, Plus is probably the least viewed streaming service I have. But will I watch that? Maybe. After watching uh, Fallout? In that video game adaptation of a show, I, I don't know what Knuckles will be about, but I'm, I'm rather curious to see where this goes, uh, especially with Idris Elba, I think, is voicing the role, so it can't be that bad. We also got confirmation that Monarch Legacy of the Monsters over at Apple TV Plus is getting a season two, and there is also going to be other spin-off Monarch Monster shows, apparently, but I liked the season one quite a bit. And you know, with Wyatt and Kurt Russell going back and forth. So if they come back for a season two, I, I'm all about it, you know. Uh, I really enjoyed the first season. And if you haven't checked that out and you don't have Apple TV+, Plus, well, that sucks. But if you do have Apple TV+, Plus, go check that out. The next piece of news was the next movie in the Transformers franchise. The last one was Rise of the Beasts. Uh, in a brief spoilers, if you guys haven't seen Rise of the Beasts, the ending of that movie ends with a little tease that the Transformers are going to be crossing over with the G.I. Joes. So I believe that's what this is. We're going to get Optimus. Maybe we're going to get a Snake Eyes crossover type of deal. And the movie will be called Transformers 1. And this is the logo here that they announced. But from that name, Transformers 1, I was like, okay, are they going to show us the first Transformer ever? And who made it and how that happened? Or is this going to be like Charlie Company 1? Go in, Charlie Company 1. You know, it's like that's like their military group team, and that's like the group of G.I. Joe's like call sign is going to be Transformers 1. I don't know. That's just where my mind went when I saw this title. And I think it's going to be one of those two things. It's going to be like a, a group called Transformers 1, and that's going to be the G.I. Joe's. Transformers going to fight whoever or it's going to show the first Transformers type deal which I kind of hope they do you know a real origin story for the Transformers but at the same time you know do we really need that not really um I kind of loved the the story with Michael Bay and Shia LaBeouf in the first one from like what 07 I remember seeing that in theaters you know and just and just the way that everything transformed that those movies still hold up really well I should do a franchise rewatch of that comment below would you like to see me rewatch all the Transformers movies that would be a little hefty you know with all the Mark Wahlberg ones and all those ones too but hey I can get it done, let me know. Uh, we got tons of movie reviews coming to the channel, so it hey, might as well add to the list, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's get into some Marvel news from CinemaCon. We got, uh, eh, I don't know if this is official, but some art, and I don't know, part of me still thinks this is fake. Until I see Hugh Jackman himself with the cowl on, I'm going to think this image is fake. Obviously, Deadpool's always worn the mask, but every time I see this image with like what is supposed to be Hugh Jackman's beard with the cowl on, I know it lo it's supposed to be look like that, and that's how it's supposed to look like in the comics and in the animated show. But just because we've never seen Hugh Jackman with the cowl on, images like this, I'm like, this is fake, right? This is AI generated or something? Like, I don't understand. I like, I think it's real, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know if this is the first time I'm going to say I saw Hugh Jackman in the cowl. I'm going to wait till I see my, feast my eyes on that cowl first. Uh, but there was like nine or ten minutes released at CinemaCon, just for the people at CinemaCon, of what the footage of, like, Deadpool was. And from the, the descriptions I've heard on interviews talking about it, super cool. But there was a confirmation that Deadpool's new suit, and this is a new suit, it's not, like, the same one for the last one. He gets a new suit from the TVA, 
and he kind of gets groped in the process, which we kind of saw in the trailers. But his swords here are adamantium swords. So, meaning, when Deadpool and Wolverine finally fight, Deadpool can put his sword up and block his Wolverine adamantium claws instead of the claws just slicing right through his sword and then Deadpool's just standing there like, okay, stab me a bunch, I guess. You know, so now we're going to be able to have an actual sword fight versus claw fight and they're not going to be able just to, you know, get disarmed easily type of deal. Uh, but Kevin Feige was out on stage cussing, dropping F-bombs, and apparently after all the hype from the Dune popcorn bucket, there will be an equally racy popcorn bucket designed by Deadpool himself that will be coming out for Deadpool and Wolverine. And some of the test images for that, you know, the... the uh, fan-made art of the pu the popcorn buckets, if you will, are raunchy and made me laugh extremely hard. But I can only imagine what type of Deadpool spoofy popcorn bucket there could be. And I'm not a big popcorn guy at the movie theaters, but this might be the first popcorn bucket that I actually buy. And then that will set a whole chain off of events where now I'm just going to start collecting them and that's going to be a problem, is what that's going to be. But I am so excited for July. Comment below how hyped are you for Deadpool and Wolverine. And a movie I was hyped for, but now I'm even more hyped for, is Captain America Brave New World. Because we got some images here. Uh, this is obviously what Sam Wilson looked like at the end of Captain America and the Winter Soldier. That's what the title would have been after Falcon and the Winter Soldier becomes Captain America. But some images from Entertainment First Look... Uh, we see Sam walking in what looks maybe like a bunker, and he's got his shield no cap suit on. And we also see him face to face with the new Thaddeus Ross, replacing William Hurt with Harrison Ford. And Harrison Ford will now be playing Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, President of the United States. And they make a little comment, kind of like how they did with... Don Cheadle and uh, Terrence Howard getting replaced in Iron Man 2. He's like, in that movie, he was like, I'm here, get used to it, get over it, and that type of thing, and they went on. In this scene, apparently, he says, I'm still getting used to the new look, and he goes, yeah, I had to lose the mustache, or I wouldn't have won presidency, or something along those lines. And, uh, you know, that, I just like that that's how they're, like, justifying, oh, he looks different, but we all know William Hurt died, and he's a legend, so obviously he didn't get replaced, he just happened to pass away. And now we got our Harrison Ford in there, and Harrison Ford may or may not become Red Hulk in this movie, like, that's... I'm excited for that, and what I've heard from this movie, and they went through reshoots, so I, I'm questionable about it, and I'm still like, okay, when is this going to be happening, and I'm pretty sure this has a new release date now of Valentine's Day 2025, so early next year we're going to be getting this movie, which is kind of exciting stuff, where Valentine's Day this year we got Madam Web, so at least Valentine's Day movie quality will be better next year. In the last bit of news from CinemaCon, Marvel dropped and Kevin Feige just brought this up that Thunderbolts, the actual title for Thunderbolts, releasing May 5th, 2025, is currently filming right now. And we knew that from Florence Pugh in the post that she made a few weeks back. But the actual title for Thunderbolts is Thunderbolts with the asterisk at the end. And now that's led the speculation of the internet to go, what does that spec what does that mean? And Feige even said in the in this interview and in this presentation, he goes, Yes, the asterisk is on purpose. No, we will not be talking about what the asterisk means until after the movie. Which to me is just like Marvel putting their balls on the table and just being like, Yeah, motherfuckers, you're gonna have news content for the next year talking about a goddamn asterisk fuck you guys you know like and that's pretty much where he left us i was like damn feige you motherfucker oh god i love feige so much especially when he just goes out there apparently he had no teleprompter everyone else is like reading you know a set thing before he just kind of goes out there and goes this is what you're getting motherfucker this is what you're gonna get this is what you're gonna get this is what you're gonna get bring out sam mackey or anthony mackey let's bring out him let's bring out you know like I, I love his presentations, and it is a lifelong goal to see him do one of these Hall H or some one of these Cinema Con. Like I would love to be one invited, or two, just be you know buy tickets, get in the room somehow. I, oh, I would love that. 
But yeah, comment below. What do you think is the deal with the Thunderbolts and the little asterisk over there in the corner? But real quick, just at the end of this video here, I just want to talk about that Fallout show on uh, Amazon Prime. I thought it was really good. These three are obviously the star of the show. Walton Goggins is the real star of the show. But Ella Purnell plays Lucy. I really like her. Maximus over there. I don't know the car the actor's real name. But Maximus over there in the Knight Titus suit for most of the thing. He's Knight Titus. And the original Knight Titus was Michael Rappaport. That shit had me dying laughing. And this is like set, you know, I described as a dark comedy. But it's based off of the video games, but apparently has nothing to do with the games, like nothing directly. But I believe there was a tease at the end there that game players must have known what that was. So I hope they get a second season, because just from that first one, it was entertaining. It looked really, really good. Ella Purnell's Lucy was just gorgeous. I loved her so much. And just her like, okie dokie, and like, just how she's like, go with the flow. And she's almost just like learning about this entire new world and just getting corrupted by it slowly but surely and just kind of embracing it. And then she ends up with Walton Goggins at the end and going to find out the truth. And we don't find out the truth, so there's got to be a second season. So go watch this so we can get a second season. But my favorite line in the entire show up to this point was Walton Goggins, of course, uh, looking dead in the eye of these motherfuckers. And he's all ghoulish. He's got no nose. He's got a cowboy hat. And he's just like this badass bounty hunter. And he's just like, listen, anyone that says that they're doing one last job, their heart ain't in it. And they definitely don't want to do this. Me, on the other hand, I do this shit for the love of the game. You know, and you're just like, oh my god, Walton Goggins, what a fucking actor, right? Like, he's great in everything I've ever seen him in. And I don't think I've ever seen him with full prosthetics on, right? Where he looks like himself, you know, you could tell deep in the eyes and the voice and a little bit in the face structure. But... Because he looks so crazy and different, just intimidating wise, he looks crazy. But then you add his acting chops to that character, and it just made the ghoul so freaking cool. And finding out what he, his story is, and like that he's like 200 years old, like that's just... And, oh man, he's fucking phenomenal. Uh, if you don't want to watch the show and you have nothing to know, and you don't know anything about the games, that's how I went into it. Uh, you know, I was like, I don't know anything about the games, and I really liked it. Now, my buddy Bonan, on the other hand, knows all about the games, and he said he's having a little bit of a different experience. So, if you're someone like me and hasn't played the games at all, know nothing about them, this might be a show for you. And if you know Walton Goggins, you might really enjoy this. You know, the cast is pretty great, the story's pretty good, and I would love for there to be a second season. But... I think that's all for today. That's another Comically Boston. Thank you guys for watching. Comment below. Like this video. Subscribe if you're new. Follow my other social medias. Link in the description below. Smash that like button. Hit that bell over there so you don't miss future videos. And I will see you beautiful people in the next video. We got movie reviews coming to the channel this week. And we got a breakdown for episode 6 of X-Men 97 coming out Thursday. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you beautiful people in the next video.